to my week 17 um, bump date video, whatever you want to call it. Um, before I even turned on the camera to start recording, I had to think to myself, now what week am I? Am I 16 weeks? Am I 17 weeks? I can't even remember. I'm at that point where it's just, the weeks just keep turning into each other and I just keep looking forward to week 20 because that's when we are going to um, have the uh, anatomy scan and know the gender, although we won't know the gender right away because I'm waiting to do a gender reveal party, so. But anyway, any everything else kind of doesn't matter until I get to week 20. But anyway, week 17, baby this week is the size of a turnip, which was kind of hard for me to picture because I don't really eat turnips that much. I don't know anyone who does eat turnips that much, but something easier that my app was telling me is if you just hold open your hand, baby is about the size of your palm. So that was much easier for me to visualize. And so yeah, baby is getting so much bigger. I think they said that baby weighs about five ounces now. So getting there almost to a pound, it's very exciting. Um, this week, my app was telling me that baby's um, skeleton and its bones are hardening and also the umbilical cord is becoming thicker. Uh, so, it, oh, also baby is starting to um, form sweat glands. So all very good things this week. I cannot wait until week 20 when I get to see baby and it won't look like a blob anymore. <laughs> I cannot wait for that. So week 17 symptoms. Nausea, totally gone. Um, like I was saying before, I am still having a little bit of trouble at night eating dinner. Um, just the past couple days, like maybe yesterday and today, um, my, I have been hungry at dinner, which has been awesome because I've just been, that's been the number one stress for me so far, is just making myself eat um, and gaining weight because last time I weighed myself, I was at my starting weight, 123 or 124 around there. So um, I was about at my starting weight. So I'm a little stressed out that I'm not gaining enough. So now that I'm hungry at dinner, that's very good. I'm very happy about that. It is a little harder for me to eat dinner sometimes just because I don't want to like make myself something. I don't want to have to, I just want to like eat something real easy that I can just pop in and heat up. Um, and we don't have a lot of that in our house, so that's been a little bit of a struggle. Um, this past weekend, I just uh, wasn't even hungry like all day, and so I didn't eat anything, which was really, really bad. So there are still some times when I'm just not hungry, and so I'm like, well, if I'm not hungry, then I'm not going to eat, but that's probably not the best to do. Uh, the biggest thing this week is heartburn. I... In the past, I've gotten heartburn like maybe once every three days and I would just get it at night when I went to bed and half of the time it was so minimal that I would just fall asleep before it bugged me too much to go get Tums. Um, the past couple days, I've been getting heartburn really, really bad, like just sitting on the couch. I'll get heartburn really bad. I won't be able to just forget about it or ignore it. I will have to go get Tums. So um, the other day I had to go and get Tums twice because it was just so bad. So that's been, definitely been different, but it's nothing compared to nausea. I welcome it. It's fine. It's easy. I have Tums and it goes away almost right away. So that hasn't been a problem at all. I've been having a lot of headaches lately, not as many headaches as uh, either last week or the week before, but I am still getting headaches. I have a headache right now. And when they come on, they're just so strong and just really, really painful. So I have been taking Tylenol to help with that. Um, I have been tired, uh, but it's kind of like on and off some days. I can't stay up past 10 o'clock. Other days, like yesterday, I stayed up until like 11.30, no problem. So it has just kind of been on and off, on and off. I definitely feel a little bit more energy than I did last trimester. So that's been really nice, but still I am pretty tired. I'm still sleeping with my pregnancy pillow. I love that thing. In the beginning, I hated it, and I was like, why did I spend my money on this? Now I love it, and it's just perfect. Um, it helps me sleep. Uh, like I said before, if I don't have a pillow between my legs, then my hips will hurt in the morning. So it's just been perfect, and I'm sure as my belly gets bigger, 
um, the pregnancy pillar will continue to help. I am still fitting into my clothes. I have not had to buy maternity clothes yet, but I think I'm getting very, very close to having to buy um, maternity pants. My jeans aren't too bad, but I put on my work pants today. I wear khakis and I could definitely tell that they were feeling tight and I was like, oh gosh. <laughs> So I definitely think that maternity pants are in my future pretty soon and a lot of my shirts, my belly has been growing. Um, I'll show you in a little bit, you'll see, but it's definitely like growing, getting way bigger and so a lot of my shirts, it's either like too tight almost to the point where it's like uncomfortable or it's um, so tight that um, you can just see and it just looks weird and so I've been trying to wear a lot of baggy clothes but you can only have so many baggy clothes so definitely getting to the edge of that still having a little bit of trouble with acne it's not so bad as in other weeks but um, I do get it you know still along my jawline and things like that but it's definitely not as bad as what it was I definitely noticed that my um, nose I'm feeling a lot more congested um, I sneeze a lot, I have a lot of like snot in my nose, um, and they say that's really common and normal for this point in pregnancy, so that's been kind of a little annoying to deal with, but it's not too bad. I have been having really weird dreams. Um, the most annoying thing is I keep having um, the same type of dream, but it's different every time, but it's basically where I am late to work for one point or another and so it's like I keep having the same dream of me being late to work but the circumstance changes every time so one time I was like I overslept another time was I was sick another time was I something with like my car I don't even know but it's been really really frustrating to have to deal with because I stress out in my dream and then I wake up all stressed out and I'm like oh actually it was you know just dream and I don't have to worry about it anymore so that's been really annoying I also had a dream the other day that my car got stolen twice so those have been really difficult to deal with especially because you're not supposed to stress when you're pregnant but how can I help it if I'm dreaming that I'm stressed so that's been a little frustrating I haven't really had any swelling um, in my hands or feet or anything like that. We have been planning more and more for the um, gender reveal party. My mom is having way too much fun and she will send me different decorations that she wants to get or today she was sending me different food ideas. So I'm really excited for this gender reveal. We sent out all the invitations so everyone should have gotten them by now. Um, it's not going to be too big of a thing, but I'm really excited for it to happen. I can't wait to know what baby Denzel's gender is. Um, some of the decorations, I guess like on Amazon, they have, you know, plates and cups that say like boy or girl. And it's like half blue and half pink. So I'm really excited for that. And then my mom, for food suggestions, she sent me this thing today and it was the cutest thing and it was one bowl of M&Ms or peanuts or something and one bowl of Skittles and it had like no nuts in the Skittles and then nuts in the M&M peanut butter stuff so I thought that was actually really cute really funny I have a couple little kids coming to this gender re reveal so hopefully they won't get it but I think it was I just thought that was really cute and funny if you can hear um, Felix in the background he seems to think that this is his video and that he needs to talk to you guys so that is what that crying is it is Felix yes that is Felix so I guess I will show you uh, my week 17 belly bump here it is I'll just angle the phone down a little bit so here it is from the side from the front and from the side again so let me just fix my shirt so it'll stay up so belly is getting much bigger if you go back and see my other videos like you'll just notice like what a difference like look how wide i am it's kind of scary to see that like oh gosh look how fat i look but it's just pregnancy and a belly bump but definitely got that you know definitely wider definitely bigger um it's definitely sticking out there so it's really fun to look at 
Um, it's exciting to watch it grow uh, every week, especially now that we're getting into, you know, almost halfway through pregnancy. Um, now is where we're going to see the big changes of my belly. Um, it's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and more noticeable. And it's really exciting. I cannot believe that I'm almost halfway through pregnancy. This has just gone so fast. I know they say towards the end of the third trimester, it feels like your pregnancy is you've been pregnant for you know a million years but right now I just feel like it's going so fast and I'm almost like slow down I mean I want it to go fast because I want to see the baby but I'm having fun being pregnant I you know other than the, the nausea and the headaches I really haven't had too much to complain about bring it on bring more brains yeah maybe that just means I'm just destined to be pregnant I mean I do want a big family so don't don't tell Anthony that I'm loving being pregnant because he will probably freak out so that is all for my week 17 update stay tuned for next week and week 18 we'll see has my belly gotten bigger and different symptoms that I've been experiencing so stay tuned bye guys